Shalom, 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 Israel. Alright, of course, giving all praises, honor, and glory. And to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. And today's question is, is it imperative for us to keep the commandments of the Lord to enter into the kingdom of heaven, right? Is the law still in effect or not? Right, so let's bring it out. Revelations 22 and 14. Again, uh, I'll bring this out. It's a quick lesson, not too long. Alright, so this is Revelations 22 and 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments that they might have right to the tree of life and enter in through the gates into the city. So basically what that's telling you is blessed is the man, blessed are they that do his commandments, right? Not not just observe, but do his commandments, right? That's the man who's blessed, right? So you can enter in through the gates into the city, in other words, the kingdom, right? Into that eternal life, right? So that's self-explanatory. You know, didn't really need to explain it, but, you know, I'll, I'll expound on the verses I do bring out. So, this is Luke, the next verse we're bringing out. You know, fly through these precepts, you know, don't want to make the video long at all. You know, Luke chapter 10, and I'll start at 25. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said unto him what is written in the law. How it is thou? Now that's your how shy of the world calls Jesus's answer, right? And he answering said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy strength, with all thy mind, and thy neighbor as thyself. Now this is the answer from the lawyer. And Yahweh Shai says this, And he said unto him, Thou hast answered right this do, and thou shalt live. Now, it's lucky. Let me uh, reread it. It said, uh, verse 27, and he answered said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy strength, with all thy mind, and thy neighbor as thyself. In other words, love the Lord and love your neighbor or your brother. Now, <clears throat> is that a love in the definition of this world and this current society? No. You know, you have, you have to go into the book to find out what these things mean, right? So this is 1 John. 1 John chapter 5, verses, we'll start at 2. <clears throat> so here, uh, by this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments so the way you know that you love the children of God who would be your brother if you were a child of God as well right amongst each other y'all are brothers right but y'all are children of the most high seeing that y'all are Israelites right so if you love your brother or your neighbor in other words You'd be keeping the law, so right? Now, read on. But this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. Now, the love of God is that we keep his commandments as well, right? So, by default, if you love your brother and you love the Most High for the Father, guess what? Hey, you're keeping the commandments in the end. That's what sums it up, right? So, yes, it is imperative that you keep the commandments to enter into what the lawyer asked eternal life or the kingdom right now one more precept I want to go into is wisdom of Solomon right this is in the apocryphal 14 book that they took out of the what they call uh, the holy bible you know the lord's book so these are 14 books they took out right so this is wisdom of Solomon 6 and 17 for the very true beginning of hers and the desire of discipline and the care of discipline is love now the her that's being referred to is personified of wisdom, right? Now, wisdom is being referred to, right? And it says, and the love is keeping up her laws like it brought out in um, the, the Bible, right? I'm not saying that this is not of the Bible, but just like it brought out in First John, per se, right? <clears throat> it's keeping the laws, lucky. <clears throat> and the giving heed of her laws is the assurance of incorruption, and incorruption make it thus near unto God, therefore the desire of wisdom break it to a kingdom. So you keeping the laws of Yahweh Shemel Shai, who the world calls Jesus and his uh and his father, right? Guess what? You would have to keep the commandments of the Lord to enter into the kingdom, eternal life, you know, Jerusalem, the city, however you wanna refer to the kingdom of heaven as, right? So with that you know, we'll come up with some more precepts in later videos. I don't want to make this video too long. So, of course, I want to put these in different segments and show you, yes, you must keep the law to enter into the kingdom of heaven, right? Also having faith and, and trusting in the Lord, man.
right of faith, uh, and then there's grace with that, but we're also going to that as well. You know, grace is not to be abused, you understand? So with that, shall we